Hey, nobodies. It's me here once again, here with my co-host, Mr. Nobody. And uh, today, I'm going to be talking about a stereotype about fat people that drives me crazy. It's that, you know, people assume that fat folks eat McDonald's or like all they eat are Big Macs and whatnot. And I get so tired of that because, you see, I used to be morbidly obese. I used to weigh almost 400 pounds. I was so fat that I had a hard time wiping my own ass. And yes, and I, I know that's disgusting in TMI, but I bring this up because I think that makes me an authority on what it's like to be a fat ass, you know? When you have a hard time wiping, you know you've really hit a certain pinnacle of fatness. So I know what I'm talking about. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So, and I don't know about other fat people. I'm sure they've had to deal with this too. But when I was like really fat, I've had people go up to me all the time and be like, Hey, you need to stay away from the McDonald's, man. You need to, you need to put down the Big Macs. You're a fat ass. You eat too many Big Macs. And I'm like, you know, I never found it insulting when people would call me fat or make fun of me for being fat because I was fat. I still got a little bit of weight to lose. But the thing is, what really insulted me was that people would assume that I would eat McDonald's. And I found that appalling because, you know, I actually have standards. And uh, the reason why I got so fat is because I actually ate delicious food, okay? I had standards as for how I would, you know, gorge myself like a pig. And I wouldn't do it at McDonald's. I would rather eat Norm McDonald than eat at McDonald's. And Norm McDonald has been dead for two years as the recording of this video. So he probably tastes like rancid flesh and embalming fluid. But I would still rather eat that than McDonald's. Because uh, when you think of McDonald's, you think of one sandwich, the Big Mac. This is like their signature item. This is what they're most famous for, the Big Mac. And as you can see on this Big Mac, there's two brown slivers here, okay? That's that's the meat, the meat. I mean, I have a I have a hard time considering anything McDonald's serves as meat, but whatever. We'll just assume that it's meat. So, you got these two slivers here, but look at all this fucking bread. Look at all this bread. It's like 90% bread. Okay? This is not a burger. Okay? See, look at this in the middle. Okay? There's more bread. Who in there, who in the hell has ever eaten a sandwich in their life and thought to themselves, you know what this needs? More bread. No, that's the part of the sandwich where you're supposed to add a shit ton of meat. You got bread, meat, and vegetables, and whatever, and then more bread at the bottom, okay? The bread is just there mainly to hold the meat together and whatever else is in the sandwich. You don't add more bread to the middle, okay? You just don't do that. And they call this a Big Mac? There is nothing big about this, all right? And to help me illustrate my point further, this is Don Gorski. This guy has eaten more Big Macs than anybody in the world. He has eaten almost 30,000 Big Macs in his life. He eats like, you know, nine Big Macs a day. And he's been doing it every day since 1972. Look at this guy. He's scrawny as fuck. I've sneezed out things that were bigger than this dude. I don't know if you can see it real well, but you see that in his hand right there? Yeah, that's a Big Mac. That little tiny circle, that's that little spot that you can hardly see probably, that's the Big Mac. That's what I supposedly got fat from eating. So, where, where do fat people eat? Well, if you're a self-respecting fat person, you eat at Arby's. That's right. Arby's is what it's all about. You got to get one of those big, disgusting, greasy beef and cheddars that has that mysterious red sauce on it that looks like period blood, or at least what I would assume that it looks like. But, you know, the thing about Arby's is when you eat it, you can literally feel your lifespan shortening, and that's how you know it's good. All the, all the good food makes you feel like that. Now, if you don't have an Arby's around you, then 
Wendy's is acceptable. Wendy's is acceptable, but preferably Arby's. You know, you gotta have that drab grayness around you. You gotta, you gotta be fat with dignity. So stop going to McDonald's, go to Arby's. Okay, I used to eat Arby's two meals a day, and I'm not lying. And if I could have afforded it, I would have eaten three meals a day. I still remember sitting in my car and stepping on my fat face with those triangle tater tots. Ugh, good times. So, that's all I gotta say. And uh, I'll see all you nobodies later.